All right, guys, we're six badges away from getting our Patrick Peterson, which means we have to win basically one more of the head-to-head -head seasons uh, to get five and then just one more game or we can win three and three or, you know, whatever the case is. We just got to get closer and closer to Patrick Peterson. So we're going to do another head-to-head -head draft here, guys. Our last one actually worked out pretty well for us. We got quite a few elites. Um, this time, though, man, I just am not getting any playbooks that I'm comfortable with, you know? I don't know. Should we go? We're going to go with the Browns. Like, I don't know. Should I go with the Browns? Like, all of these I'm just not super excited about. I don't know. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go with the Falcons. Let's try out the Falcons and see what they can do for us. All right. I don't know. I, I've never even used the Falcons. Like, once again, I've never used them. Last draft's champions, we did the Bills. I had never used them either. And it worked out pretty well for us. So maybe, maybe we can get something done. I don't know. All right, so here we go. Defensive tackle, Michael Brockers. Uh, Jay Howard. He's got a really fast acceleration for a defensive end. Uh, 88 acceleration is pretty solid. Maybe we should start off with that. I don't know. Gates isn't that great. He's super slow. 79 is just not fast enough for me, man. I know I always say that. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other guys and just see if we have anybody that's fast. Yeah, we've got... Oh, never mind. I was going to say... I don't know. Clive Wolf, 80 speed. That's not great. I don't know. Maybe we put Doriel Green back. Maybe we'd be great and put Doriel Green back at that tight end. I don't know. Six foot five, 89 speed. I don't know. Maybe something like that would be pretty decent. Obviously, he doesn't have great catching attributes. Not great release. Route running's probably pretty mediocre. But and his route, his run blocking is atrocious. But really, all he has to do is run into the guys for the most part. I don't expect my um, my tight ends to like pick up amazing blocks or anything like that. I don't know. We'll think about it. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to go with Antonio Gates. Let's go with Jay Howard. All right, moving on. Michael Thomas, a lot of speed there. 90 speed. That's that's always good. Um, Bradley Mc, McDougald. Let's see here. Six foot one, 87 speed. Five foot 11, 90 speed with 92 excel. I think we got to go with Michael Thomas. We're not going to go with Henry Melton. Uh, yeah, let's go with Michael Thomas at free safety. Let's see here. Legarrette Plunt's way too slow for my style. Martavis Bryant's really good for me, though. Uh, big, tall receiver that has good catch in traffic. Maybe we go with him. I know Matt Stafford has great throwing power, but look at his throw accuracy. It's so terrible. I don't think we got to go. We got to go with Martavis Bryant. Okay, so we get some uh, we get some good pulls here. Dermody Dawson's out because he's a center, and I just don't invest at center. Team of the week, Luke Keekley. Now, this is one that's really interesting. Do we go with Carlos Rogers, who is a really, really good corner uh, with good press at a 93 as well, great zone coverage, uh, decent man coverage, or do we go with Luke Keekley, who might be might be one of my best players to user in this game, Luke Keekley. Uh, and we actually pulled this. This is awesome because uh, I never actually even got to use this card. I just sold it right away when I pulled it. You guys saw it in the video that one day, uh, a couple, you know, about a week ago when I actually pulled Luke Keekley. But um, I don't know, man. I think let's go. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Luke Keekley. Why not? We'll try and invest at cornerback at some other point in the draft here. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us, and I think it's going to right away because we could have gone with Koa Misi. But he is pretty slow. 78 speed's not great. Uh, again, with Martellus Bennett, not great either. Jack Muhort, that's actually a pretty solid card. Look at his attributes. He has really great run blocking. Pass blocking isn't spectacular, but he does have a high strength as well. So I think we're going to go with him. I know normally a lot of people don't invest in offensive line. I am somebody that really does. I think uh, offensive line is really, really important in this game. Um, and we might go with another one here potentially. Um, Sebastian Vollmer is somebody that I think is a little bit overrated because his run blocking isn't great. Um, Dwayne Brown is pretty solid. He's he's good at both. But I don't know, man. I don't, do we want to go with Dwayne Brown? Or Levante David is so good. He's got such good speed. Um, he's good against the run. And he's really actually quite good against the pass as well. I know he's quite a bit lower overall, so that will lower our overall if we don't go with Levante, Levante David over a Dwayne Brown, for example. Ah, uh, do we just do we just get a beast left side of our offensive line? Like I don't know, man. I think we're gonna go with Levante David. 
All right. Uh, here's where we can really make an interesting pick here because I don't think Mike Daniels is really in the running here. He's not quick enough for me. Uh, Phillip Rivers, I usually would recommend going with a quarterback at this point if you haven't gotten one, but I, he just does not do it for me for some reason. I always suck with Phillip Rivers. I don't know why. So I think we might go with Star Latulale. I mean, he's got great strength. He's really good against the run. Uh, his block shed is solid as well. So let's try him out and see if he can do anything for us up the middle. Take away some of those inside zone type of plays. Uh, let's see here. Derek Wolf. He has some decent attributes. Okay. We've already got a strong or a free safety. We've already got a right outside linebacker. So I don't know. We might have to take one of these guys and put him at the opposite side, I think. But I think it might be the move. That might be something smart to do have to think about it here because oh man i maybe we can put ah man this is not a good pick i don't know we're gonna go with Derek wolf got a good defensive line building up at least i don't know man these are really not good picks right now for me we're gonna go with mike devito though we're gonna shore up that defensive line we're gonna have four guys that are pretty decent on the defensive line at least uh Derek wolf's probably gonna have to bump into defensive tackle all right, David Amerson really did well for us last last game. I, I think we got to go with him. We definitely need to get a cornerback that's good. I would love to have Jamie Collins because he's playing a position that I can definitely make use of uh, at left outside linebacker, but I still think we got to go with Amerson. And let's see here. Devin Bro, maybe? Six foot, 90 speed. Man coverage is solid. Zone coverage is really bad, though. Cameron Jordan, we can't go with you. We just have too many D-line already. Uh, left outside linebacker. We do need a left outside linebacker. I keep saying that. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I feel like corner is so important in this game. You can't get stuck with bad corners. Like, you just can't. If you get stuck with bad corners, you're so screwed. We're going to go with the corner. Uh, it's just a position situation, man. All right, moving on. Marcus Wheaton, do we pair him up with Martavis Bryant, maybe? That might be a decent move. And we could go with Stephon Gilmore and completely have decent cornerbacks at every one of them. That wouldn't be too bad. We've already got a right end. We've already got too much D-line already. So it's pretty much between Wheaton and Stephon Gilmore. Wheaton just isn't super fast, though. Like, he's decent, but he's not spectacular. So I think we're going to go with Gilmore and just get another good cornerback. Hopefully, we get a wide receiver toward the end here and we can get somebody pretty good. All right, here we go. Michael Kendricks, 88 speed. That is a beast of a player. Oh, man, I didn't realize Clowney has 90 speed. He isn't good, though, in coverage. Like, he has really great hit power, obviously. Good block shedding if you wanted to pass rusher with him, but he's playing 4-3 outside linebacker for us. So uh, I think we're going to go with Michael Kendricks, and we're probably going to bump him out or Keekly out to uh, left outside linebacker. And then we're going to have some pretty beast linebackers, man. Our defense is stacked right now. Offense is looking pretty rough, though. No running back, no quarterback. We got one wide receiver, no tight end. Ugh, we just haven't gotten great offensive pos uh, positional players, though, to be honest with you. Like, it just keeps giving us stuff like this. Like, what are we supposed to do with this? You know, like we've already pretty much stacked up every single one of these positions. This is super frustrating. I hate when they do this. I hate when they just give us garbage at every one of the positions. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Honestly, I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Um, I mean, I guess we made a bad pick earlier at some point in the draft. So uh, we're going to go with Charles Woodson, though. At least we'll have him on the field occasionally. And, uh, all right, so, I mean, this is unfortunate because I would really love to go with Shannon Sharp, um, but we, I feel like we need a wide receiver. I don't know, but I love throwing to my tight end. Like, I'm somebody who loves throwing to his tight end. I've never used Shannon Sharp either. Ah, oh, man. Look at how bad our offense is, by the way. Like, we have, like, no skill position players at all. Like, this is not a good situation for us. But we're going to go with Shannon Sharp. Hopefully, we're going to be able to throw the ball short and make it effective anyway. So, this is not a very good draft, guys. We're only, what, a 79 overall. Did not work out for us, but hopefully, we can make it work anyways. Let's see what we can do in the actual games, guys. Offense, 77. That is so terrible. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to make some adjustments, though. Okay, so here we are. 
Uh, yeah, our running back situation is just a complete train wreck, isn't it? Oh my gosh, Kendall Hunter is our best running back as far as speed and acceleration go. Oh man, this is bad. This is going to be really, really bad. Doyle Green Beckham is really solid though, so I'm comfortable with him at least. Um, he's nice and big and physical. So we could use him, and then maybe we can use Gilmore in the slot. I think maybe that might be the move potentially and then hopefully we can actually uh we might be able to just put shannon sharp in at wide receiver from time to time because he is going to have good wide receiver attributes as well so let's try this out let's put stefan Diggs, or let's put i don't know i feel like Diggs is probably better fit for the slot so let's do that uh and then we'll move dorio green beckham outside to play outside along with martavis bryant so we've got two big outside receivers at least Two guys that can go up and catch the ball with aggressive catches. Uh, and then look at the offensive line. Really not very good. We got one offensive lineman that's good. Like, I, I couldn't really even make any good picks. We had Phillip Rivers potentially. But, like, I think that was the only quarterback that we got the entire time. Um, fullback is a train wreck position for us right now, I gotta be honest. Uh, 86 speed, though, out of Jackie Battle actually isn't that bad. We might be able to make use of that a little bit. Um... But, uh, yeah, really not a good situation for us. Let's check out the defense, though. Defense is looking defense is looking really, really good for us right now. Um, Jay Howard's moving in at defensive tackle. Okay. So we've got Latule, De DeVito, Bro, David Amerson, Stephon Gilmore. We, pre we basically made... Yeah, we did. We made a defensive pick for every single one of the starters. Like, and, and I didn't intentionally go in doing that, but... It worked out that way just because we really got nothing on offense. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can make this happen. Javier Arenas is apparently our kick returner. That's not good. He is way too slow to be our kick returner. Uh, let's see here if we got anybody else that we can make use of. So hopefully we have, like, some random person on the team that's got, like, 99 speed or something. I don't think we do, though. Michael Thomas. Nah. Well, who is this? David Amerson? I don't know. I don't know if I trust your carrying, actually. Some of these lower guys, like, if they're not offensive players, it's tough to trust them with the ball in their hands. So, uh, you know what? We're going to go with Stephon Diggs because he's probably not going to be on the field a whole lot for me. He's going to be our kick returner. This is not good, guys. Offensively, we are in some serious, serious trouble. But uh, hopefully, we can make it happen. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Defensively, we should be pretty stacked, and, and hopefully, we can be dominant. Should we go with Matt Castle or Austin Davis? I don't know. These guys are both awful. Um... Let's see here. Throw accuracy mid is what I care about most, to be honest with you. Uh, so it's probably going to be Castle, despite the fact that he just is awful. Oh, goodness. His throw power isn't good. His throw accuracy shorts quite a bit better, though, than Austin Davis. Uh, his mid his mid is really bad, though. You know what? We're going to go with Austin Davis, because he's better in throw accuracy mid, throw accuracy deep, and throw accuracy or throw power. Um, and he is actually somewhat mobile. I didn't realize he had 81 speed. So we're going to go with Austin Davis as our quarterback. Um, he's actually better than I was expecting him to be. So, all right, that is the team, guys. We're going to get into our games next. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy the videos. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoy Draft Champions or what do you guys want to see on the channel. And let's get into the games. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.